hey y'all hi welcome back to the channel if you're new here hi welcome to my corner on the internet it is so nice to have you here i am glad that you decided to stop by and i hope you enjoy today's video make sure to you know take a look around the channel see if there are other videos that might catch your eye and don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed watching it um but yeah my name is Deborah, but you can call me Deb, Debbie, Deborah, whatever floats your boat as long as it kind of sounds like my actual name. And I make YouTube videos pretty much on lifestyle related stuff. I do vlogs, I talk about minimalism and sustainability, low waste and all of that jazz. Today's video is going to be a little bit different as I'm going to be chatting about things you sort of need to know and keep in mind if you plan on moving to Vancouver. And I'm saying this as somebody who has lived in Vancouver for slightly over a year coming from Alberta. Please keep in mind that several of the points that I'm going to raise in this video are based upon my own personal experiences and my, you know, lived experience here in Vancouver. I do not claim to present truths or facts, you know, somebody else that has lived here in the same amount of time, coming from the same place that I came from, will have or may have a completely different perspective about Vancouver than I do and if you're watching this trying to decide whether or not you want to move to Vancouver I believe that you're a completely independent and willful individual that is able to use details available to you to come to a rational and well thought through decision me my role here is to just present my perspective about the city what i think about it and let you make the decision okay now that's out of the way um i think it's important to start with a few basic sort of maybe boring or maybe interesting facts about you know vancouver in terms of like the geographical location landscape climate weather so vancouver located in canada's westernmost province British Columbia is bounded on the west by the Pacific Ocean and on the east by the province of Alberta. Its natural landscape features oceans, mountains, lakes, rivers, and so if you're a very outdoorsy person, you're in for a treat. Some of its famous landmarks include Stanley Park, the Capilano Suspension Bridge, Grouse Mountain, um, Granville Island, and so on. And Vancouver's population as of 2021 sits at just over two million people. Okay, so, okay, so let's just jump right into it. I'm gonna start with the pros of living, you know, in the city. So first thing first, uh, due to like its primo location, it's just a naturally stunning city. I mean, you have the mountains, you have the oceans, you have lots of trees and nature. I mean, even from like certain locations, for instance, the uh, Spanish Banks Beach, you're able to take in and experience the mountain and the beach and the ocean just like right there. It's something that I've never seen before in my life and it's always just so captivating each time you see that. I think one of the things I really, really love about Vancouver is just, just the nature and just like the proximity to just everything beautiful you just feel there's just a certain peace <laughs> around like just the natural landscape of the city i mean the city is also covered with like numerous trees and when you're driving down particular spots the view is just breathtaking and so the next thing about Vancouver that I really like is its climate and weather. The climate and weather, Vancouver's climate and weather are pretty mild in my opinion for a Canadian city, which I think sort of explains why lots of people flock <laughs> in drones to Vancouver. It's, there's hardly ever snow. Winter in the city is just mostly just rain. Um, the summers can get very nice and hot. In the year and a bit that I lived here, I've experienced one winter, it only snowed. It only snowed like once and it was like a light dust and definitely nothing compared to Alberta. You know, that kind of snow would have been a shorts and tank top kind of day. If you know any Albertans, you know what I'm talking about. December and December being the wettest months and by wettest, I mean rain 
every single day of the month um i think november and december were the hardest months for me living here just because of that it was constantly raining constantly gloomy um you would get like max maybe three to four hours of daylight and then it would be dark again there wasn't any sun really in vancouver um it's just constant rain if it stops it stops for a little bit and you hardly ever get any sunlight so yeah so just keep that in mind um and then another thing is that the transit system is pretty reliable um seeing as i don't have a car here i do rely on like i do all of my movement with transit um buses come pretty much every 15 minutes um and the trains come like every two minutes every four minutes so it's very quick and there's almost oh there's always a way to get to wherever you need to get to it might be take a little longer for certain places that are farther farther away but you will still get there there are so there are bike lanes pretty much everywhere and it's just one of the, another way that you can get around if you own a bike you don't have to rely on transit and you can just ride your bike pretty much anywhere um, the way the transit is mapped out here it just makes it easy you don't really miss having a car but obviously there are certain flexibilities and comforts that owning a car give um, that you just sort of forego when you rely on the bus so that's that and then one pro about Vancouver is that it's got it's got kind of like a hippie vibe there are many eco-conscious and ecologically minded people here and I think the you know eco-consciousness or the sustainability um also seeps through in terms of like the urban planning so yeah it's a very ecologically minded city which personally for me is like the biggest advantage um in terms of living here just because of my stance of an, on environmental sustainability and all of that um, i mean folks here are super eco-conscious there are numerous zero waste stores um, bulk store. There are also many vegan and plant-based restaurants, farmers markets, locally grown foods, and so on. And as someone that is, again, sustainability minded and really trying to, as much as I can, minimize my ecological impact on the planet, living here and having access to those things really does make a world of a difference for me. And I'm truly grateful and appreciative of that. Now, those are the features about Vancouver that I find very, very good and I think is also what attracts most people to um, come and live in Vancouver but with every city um, there are also cons and for me the cons probably outweigh the pros again this is my personal opinion so like the first biggest con in in my opinion if you were to ask anybody here about the city is just the fact that it's so expensive and when i say that it's costly i do not exaggerate i mean there is like a thing i saw on reddit that bc stands for bring cash and vancouver as bc's bustling and thriving metropolis bring cash is indeed <laughs> representative of sort of what you need to do when you get here you need to be making a decent amount of money to live here comfortably um the cost of living is incredibly high and i think one of the most apparent sources of this expense is in terms of rent rent prices here are ah, they are out of this world expensive if you're like me and you prefer living alone rent will set you back quite a bit every month a quick Google search of the average um, monthly rent in Vancouver for a one bedroom tells me that it's 2100 and that of course does not include utilities, Wi-Fi, um, most places in Vancouver don't have um, in-suite laundry so you're gonna have to pay in a little bit extra for laundry each week each month whatever the case is and it just adds up so eventually you're probably going to be spending I don't know close to like 23 2400 a month on rent and this is not even in like one of the prime locations if you were wanting to live like downtown or in like the fancier neighborhoods like Carisdale Kitsilano, West Vancouver, or sorry, West End, um, you can be expending, expending, you can expect to spend a little bit 
more than that. And so also related to expense and cost of living and so on is sort of like the income discrepancy um, and inequality here. And then also sort of related to this is just the terrible drug use issue that plagues Vancouver. Um, I remember the first time I moved here, I had to go to a thrift store all the way in like, in like East Hastings and just driving through East Hastings and just seeing like the homelessness issue and people battling drug addiction and just the the sadness is I don't even know what word it's just a squalor um, that is in that area is just so jarring and shocking it's like am I still in the same city but then at the same time if you drive down a certain portion of um, Vancouver sort of close to UBC there are I think it's South Marine Drive or something like that it's Marine Drive for sure there are numerous mansion castle like houses um, with high gates and just like trees and shrubbery just like covering them and protecting them and you can tell that's just oozing wealth and when I think about that and compare it to downtown East Hastings I just get sick and angry so much the inequality here is ridiculous like there are people that are doing so very absolutely well and there are people that are suffering and that's just and I know this is the case in pretty much every city everywhere you go but it's so jarring here that it's just un very unsettling to me so another thing that I don't really like about Vancouver is that it seems very snobby and sort of pretentious and once they're like in their own little clique or friend group it's hard to kind of get into there and yeah so making friends can be difficult if you don't already have a pre-existing um, click or core or if you don't know someone in that click or core you're just going to be pretty much isolated i mean in in just exposing myself a little bit i'm quite a bit of an introvert so i'm not one for going out anyway but i feel like even if i wasn't it would be i don't know there's just a certain shallowness um a shallow vibe about the city and the people here but that's just my perception um, of this place and related to that dating is hella freaking hard um, I will admit for the most part uh, that I've been here I didn't really try date well I only dated maybe like a couple people and that's it I stayed off of dating for for a while but I was still on dating apps and it's just hard to meet people I think I don't know or maybe this is just a general thing maybe it just has to do with me but dating is hard um i think it's also symptomatic ab about my generation and our need to our fear of commitment people just want like uh friends with benefits or like a random casual hookup and it's like hey i'm not about that life but you know the short amount of time that i did try to date and i was trying to date seriously it was hard it was hard to meet people and obviously it didn't help that this was during a pandemic but i feel like the pandemic didn't really you know impact it as much as you would think but that's my that's my spiel dating is hard but i feel like dating is hard everywhere and then another thing sort of related to like the advantage of living here which is the fact that um it's very naturey, outdoorsy, but for me, I'm not very outdoorsy. <laughs> I'm, an, I'm not a very outdoorsy person, and so a lot of these outdoors-focused activities, it's like, all right, well, sure, I could, I could go on a hike or whatever, but I'm not an avid hiker. I will admit that I feel like a lot of the perspective or the opinions that I have about this place were really impacted by the pandemic. I'm just trying to imagine if I would have sort of a change of heart about most of these qualms, qualms but not really. Um, if I didn't, if I moved here at a different time when it wasn't a pandemic and I got to see the city in sort of its full light, I got to go out and try stuff meet people beyond online maybe that would have impacted 
differently how I see the city. Um, but I think overall, the, the two big things for me are the cost of living, the inequality issue in terms of like income and just like the vibe of the people here. I think that would always be the same regardless of whether it's a pandemic or not. But yeah, so that is pretty much it. Again, if you are if you live in Vancouver and you absolutely love this place, you think this place is the bomb, that is good for you. I completely respect your opinion about the city. And I hope you can do mine too. I'm not trying to trash this place. Like I said, there are so many things about this place that I love and that for me are like a huge selling point but i have to be really realistic and weight against you know other things like affordability and the kind of people that live here and that's just that's just my thought but that's pretty much all that i have to share if you live in vancouver let me know down in the comment section below what you think about vancouver if you're planning on moving here what do you think after watching this video? Again, I want you to be able to come to your own decision and determine whether or not the city is going to be for you. But I feel like you won't know that until you actually come live here, experience it, and then make the choice for yourself. Um, but yeah, I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. I had so much fun sitting down and thinking about what it is that I actually love about this place and what it is that I don't really like. But that's pretty much everything I have to share for today's video. Thank you so, so much for watching and stopping by. I hope you enjoyed watching. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're new here. I would really love to have you as part of my internet family. But that is pretty much everything. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time in another video. Bye!